Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, I have explained about pre-rendering concept changes in Next.js 13. It's the most important part for Next.js to be a full stack developer. Now there were some changes in Next.js 13. So one change is also this that get server side props function is no longer supported in Next.js 13. Remember that. Now in this video we are going to understand first what is the use of get server side prop function in Next.js 12 or before version and now it is no longer supported. So what is the error the Next.js 13 is providing to you to say you that is no longer supported and what is the alternative of this so first question is what is the use of get server side props function remember that this get server side props function we use for server side rendering so there are three types of pre-rendering in Next.js: static side generation server side rendering and incremental static regeneration i have explained all the concepts in this video and so first server side rendering is done by get server side props function but this get server side props function is no longer supported in next.js so what is the error and how this is implemented in next.js 12 so far that i am going to give you a demo also an error also so for that you see the demonstration and what is the alternative of this i will tell you in the last in the end of the video so we go to this and here again in the same web directory I create a folder first so I say SSR means server side rendering and under this I create a page I say page.js and here I write RAFCE and this is the component so I remove this react no need of this and here I say h3 or h4 I say use of get server side props function in next.js 12 or before it save this now you see so get server side props function and this is the ssr server side rendering so i add this in my navigation also so just i make copy and i do paste here i say server side rendering so i just write in SSR because it will take a lot of space and I say SSR here and it's very very simple now you will see that I click on this and I will have this use of get server side props function in Next.js 12 and before now what is the use then we are going to implement so navigation we close we go to this now I create a function I say export const get server side props remember and i create this function like this and here i say it is async because we are going to use fetch here and for fetch library i have a dummy url for fake api rest api i'm going to use it so i say here uh, data equal to fetch and under this i want to pass this url and i say await here await and i save this now remember under this i say so i say const q data means cots i want to read here so i say await again and i say uh, data dot json because it return the data and then after that i have a cots so i return the props remember that we have to return this props and under this props we have to pass the value that i say cots all the codes i want to display here so i create this codes also codes equal to i say q data dot codes remember that i want to pass here so this kind of information we use to fetch data at server side and we called we use this function for server side rendering so i am getting this url i am fetching data by this fetch function in this function i'm getting a data i'm converting this data into the array format and i'm passing the array to this as a props and i have to use this here so i say 
records so automatically this variable because i am passing here this object it will come here as a quotes and remember that if i use it here console.log if i put here quotes here it will say undefined and it will generate error also now you see the output of the page if i go to my page you see error error is get server side props is not supported in app directory means directly in next js 13 you this documentation you can go to this documentation and read it that it is not supported remember that but this is the code which we write in next js 12 and before and this code run 100 percent in next js 12 and before version but now this is not executing remember that and it is also not producing the result because it's an error but it's a undefined this also because this information is not reaching to this component under the app directory because this app routing we are using in next.js 13 so under the app routing it is not supported now we go to our ppt now question is what is the use of get server side props function in next.js 12 and before i have explained you that how to write the code how to write the code in next.js 12 and before it worked fine but it's not working in latest next.js 13 now you see no longer support in next.js 13 and above version i have explained you that with example that is no longer supported this error is coming officially by next.js application or next.js library this is not supported now what is the alternative of this in 13 next.js version so that i am going to explain in my next future videos the alternative is fetch function but how to use that fetch function i'm going to give you in my next videos you follow my same playlist just in few days you will get the answer of this question also but remember that if you get this type of error in your application of next.js under app routing under next.js 13 version that clearly mention that it is not supported and no longer use in next.js 13 how to use you see version is there 13.5.3 is not supported now how to do a server side rendering in latest version of next.js 13 and above that i'm going to explain in my future video in same playlist if you like this video please do subscribe thank you for watching this video Thank you.